historic day in the skies above. For the first time in nearly 40 years, a total solar eclipse will be visible in the United States today. 14 states stretching from Oregon to South Carolina are going to fall in the 70-mile-wide path of the total eclipse. With the rest of the country set to experience a partial eclipse, our own Maria Bartiromo spoke with NASA scientist Dr. Alex Young and asked him what people in the path can expect today. Well, so in the path, you're going to see this huge change in light and temperature as this giant shadow moves overhead from west to east. And everyone will experience this partial phase as the moon moves across the sun. But then when the moon completely blocks out the sun in the path of totality, all of a sudden the sun's outer atmosphere called the corona will be revealed something that you can only see in visible light from the ground during a total solar eclipse. The, 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 night will, the day will turn to night, and you'll even see the brightest stars and planets, and even animals will respond to thinking it's nighttime. Wow. How will animals respond? Well, crickets will start chirping. Uh, birds will stop singing. We've even seen examples of cows going back to their barns acting just like it was nighttime and uh, only for a brief moment. So it's, it's a bit disorienting for, for animals. So it's just like a minute or so? Or, I mean, how, how long will the, will the area go dark? Well, you're going to see this happen uh, anywhere from, you know, 15 to 20 minutes before we actually get to totality. As that shadow's moving overhead, it will get darker and darker. The hue of the sky itself will change. Uh, the temperature will start to drop. We'll see changes in the winds. And then all of a sudden, very suddenly, as the moon moves over, there'll be a complete block because it actually goes from 10,000 times brighter to all of a sudden the brightness of a full moon. And that's when this full totality hits. And that's going to last for about two to two and a half minutes, depending on where you are. So fascinating. So let's talk about, depending on where you are, in the parts of the country not directly in the eclipse's path, what do they expect to see? Well, they will again still see this sudden change in light. They will see a decrease, almost like a big thunderstorm rolling in, except with no lightning and thunder. But the other things that will happen is they will look around and things like trees will cast these little tiny images of the sun, which will be crescents as the moon has moved over it. So not only is there a change in light and temperature around you, but all of the shadows and images around you have these strange curvatures as the, the image of the sun is cast down. So it's pretty, uh, it's pretty cool and uh, a little bit disorienting. Yeah, cool and fascinating. So I was reading that safety is really critical here when viewing the eclipse. What's the best way to, for people to experience this event? Do you need, you know, glasses or can you look right at the moon and sun? Well, you can never, so just like not looking at the sun normally, it's too dangerous, this also applies for the partial eclipse. The only time you can look directly at the sun is that brief moment of totality. So the rest of the time, you still need to use safe solar viewing glasses. These are designed especially for looking at the sun. They are hundreds of thousands of times more powerful than normal sunglasses, which you cannot use. But if you don't have these, you can use indirect methods. You can just simply take a piece of paper or cardboard and make a hole in it, and that actually makes a projection of the sun down on the ground. In fact, you can even use your hands to cross them to make your own little pinholes. And then, as I mentioned, the, the leaves on trees do this for you also. So there are lots of indirect methods to look at the sun. So should, should we go and look for those glasses, though? Should we find those glasses just to be safe? You can still find them. It, it would be worthwhile. You can go to places like community centers, to uh, libraries. And I even know some, some retailers like you know Lowe's and people like that are selling ones that are certified. So you want to make sure that they're certified, that they, and to, to check on that, you go to eclipse2017.nasa.gov slash safety to find reputable vendors, because you want to see the ISO standard on the back of the glass, as well as the manufacturer that's in our list of certified, verified manufacturers. And our thanks to NASA and Dr. Young.